All right, today uh, we're going to be walking a section of the uh, I and M Canal Trail. Uh, this is part of the uh, Lamont Heritage Quarries here. All right, we're at the I and M Canal Trail, Lamont Heritage Quarries. We're going to go ahead and uh, look up here. Uh, this first part here is actually part of the uh, old I and M Canal Trail. We're going to go a little ways up. Check it out. You can see they got plenty of parking here. Not too busy today. I'm going to go a little further and park along there. The trail continues out this way. Yeah, let's walk down this way. Check it out. Got to watch out. It's fairly busy over on this side. You can see the uh, canal don't move very fast. It's uh, all green, algae covered. Uh, you can see it's like a crushed limestone on both sides of the canal here. It's part of the uh, trail system. And of course, uh, everywhere I go, uh, you know there's going to be railroad tracks. These go off in the distance that way, around the curve. And then they go into a uh, chemical plant on this side. You see an old switch here. Kind of neat. And you can look in the... Uh, it's a little rusty, some shiny spots. So they do use it occasionally, but uh, not too often. All right, they got the uh, different... Uh, trails marked by different figures. One guy here with the mule and the hat, that's part of the I Num Canal goes through. You got all the different side trails for all different things. Let's go down this way a little bit. See, these are very nicely. I think they call this screened limestone. Oh, there's a plaque over here. Let's see what this says. I like reading all these plaques. They're kind of cool. Well, this trail was dedicated in 2004 through here with the Lamont Heritage Quarries. It's actually pretty cool. Little single engine. Uh, I, mean, I guess it's a Cessna 150 going past. See a little of everything here. All right, we'll go back on the trail here. We got plenty of garbage cans. Walk down the trail itself here. All right. Uh, this section of the trail actually runs right alongside one of the old quarries. Uh, and you could tell by looking at the rocks all along here. This was uh, this was actually a working limestone quarry. That's the chemical plant over there. And you see, this is just one of the quarries in this area. You can see it's all rimmed with limestone all the way around the edge there. And it's a little bit around here. Back to this edge. I'm going to head back into the woods here. And you can see the trail crosses the you know, road in a few spots. Cool little bridge here that goes over the canal. This is the way we uh, came in from that way. That's the entrance was up there. Well, actually, this I and M Canal Trail goes all the way from Little Springs all the way out past Star uh, Rock, so it's 60 some odd miles long. This is just one section of it today.
Oh, this part actually has some moving water in it. Small waterfall there. A little pool. And a small waterfall over there. You can see that other bridge. There's another bridge a little further down there, too. I don't know if you can't quite see it, but it's a little ways down. And now the trail continues on the other side here. Let's see if I can get a little better view of this bridge. Oh, and another bridge right away. A lot of bridges here. Oh, this is nice and shady now. And at the top of the waterfall, on this side of the bridge, just a little stream that goes through here. Pretty nice. Oh, nice breeze out now, and in the shade. This is this little side trail goes. When in doubt, take the left. Fairly steep here. I don't want to slide down into the water or anything. This is the top view of the falls here. There's a little bridge you just went over. And there's a big bridge you can kind of see it. Oh, there are tons of mosquitoes here. All kinds of uh, flowers, bushes, some kind of little red berries here. I'm not going to try any, I don't know what they are. There's more water down there, and these mosquitoes are just killing me. Man, these mosquitoes. I'm like a pint low already. All I did was I wanted to go down and see what the water looked like. And these mosquitoes, they like swarm me. This is crazy. Uh, they should outlaw mosquitoes everywhere. Here's some uh, raspberry bushes. They're just starting to... Uh, Get raspberries on, they won't be ripe for a little bit. Some cool little flowers, little yellow flowers. Not sure what they are. There's some, there's all kinds of cool little flowers and plants back here. A couple of dragonflies floating through, but I, uh, I haven't really got one yet. They're a little, little fast. And another another bush up here with more berries. Yeah, I don't think I'd try these either. I'm not sure what they are. It's possible they're sumac, but I'm not going to try them. Alright, I know what this tree is. This is a mulberry tree. A lot of mulberries on it. This one I would actually eat if I brought some napkins with me, but uh, I'm gonna get my hands all purple. All right, coming around one of the other quarries here. We're just kind of going in circles today. More little flowers here. Some kind of little purple flowers. More little white and yellow flowers and more mosquitoes. That's a pretty nice trail. Hi. 
you know, the trails are pretty well maintained with all this uh, screen limestone. Kind of see the uh, quarry through here. Yes, there's a quite a few of them here. I'm just going to go back around in a circle here. This was just kind of like the nickel tour today. Alright, there's a place right around the bend here. A really good view of the quarry. Oh, isn't that nice? You come around and you see the whole thing here. This is really nice. Oh, another cool plant. Look at this one. It's another purple one. Looks like a lot of people fishing out here. How are you doing? Good. Catching anything today? Not much. I was on that little bridge over by the uh, where the canal goes through. There's some pretty good sized fish in there. I don't think they're suckers or what or carp, but. No, no, we're just uh, having fun today. <laughs> That's the best thing. It's pretty good size. Oh, I'm not standing on the edge when I do that. Probably end up in the water. And you can see all the uh, limestone here. Because this actually was a quarry. That's why they call it uh, the, the quarry. There's like steps going up here. Let's we'll we'll see where the little trail goes. Ooh, nice breeze picking up. Oh, <laughs> it goes to the edge here. See, right off in the distance there. We didn't go past that, but that's a, a picnic grove. They got grills out, picnic tables, and stuff. And the trail goes all the way around that one as well. We're not going to walk that one today. We'll save that one for another time. Let's see where this trail goes. The rest of it. Up probably to the edge over here. Oh, it goes to a steep trail and then to the edge. More different kinds of berries. I have no idea what those are. I don't think I'm going to try them. Another little white flower here. This is really nice here. Okay, this is actually going to lead out to the road. Oh, they got something going on here. Not sure exactly what that is, but looks like it's some kind of game they play here on the trails. Hmm. I would scan that, but oh, let's see here. 
when in doubt, go right. Another different kind of purple flower here. It's pretty nice. Uh, this stuff, I'm pretty sure this stuff is poisonous. We don't want to uh, mess with that. When in doubt, go right. They say uh, 10 miles an hour here on the road, but now we'll look both ways anyway because some of these people really move along through here. a lot of mosquitoes. All right, we're back at the car. It was actually a pretty nice walk. It's uh, not bad out. Uh, I did bring my water with me, but these